indicator. And for those of you all who took a trade this evening, let me see a 777 in the chat because we're here tonight to put you and your family on the other side of money. We're talking about 2 million strong. Yes, 2 million. So we're gonna remove all those reservations, those hesitations, anything that's limiting you from achieving the success that you desire. That includes pushing the button. That includes sharing this information. That includes exposing people to this information. That includes cashing out, right? That is really what this is all about. It's just really about making sure that you walk in success. So I do, I have some questions here. I'm excited and we're gonna walk through some things, right? Tonight, we're gonna remove our reservations, our hesitations. We're gonna walk in what we desire. We're gonna talk about you because you know that success is housed on the inside of you. Your success, your success, your success is housed on the inside of you. Now you see what you guys just walked through. Yes, we are breaking chains. That's what we're doing. You are absolutely correct. Because if you see what you all just walked through, now, let me ask you all a question. Did that help you? And I really want to take you somewhere mentally right now. If it helped you, I want a yes in the chat. If you have been having hesitation pushing that button, you have been having hesitation pushing that button, let me get a yes in the chat. And do you understand what being part of a community is going to do for you? Do you understand what being a part of being plugged in will do for you. Because as Ms. Anderson stated, as our pit master stated, we were having a conversation and we realized just how many people have not pushed a button. How many people can mark up the charts, look at it, but had not pushed a button. And so we challenged all of you all, I've been challenging you, it was phenomenal. We've been challenging you guys to push the button. Bring it because you're here to walk in that wealth. You're gonna get comfortable with this market by getting in it. Right. And now let me ask you a question, because this is the power start. What we're about to talk about is your power start. How many of you all know what you've experienced so far, whether you've been enrolled a day, whether you've been enrolled a week, whether you've been enrolled for six months? How many of you all know that you are a change agent? How many of you all know that you are being empowered? How many of you all know that this information is valuable? How many of you all know? How many? Do you know? Can I get a 777, right? If you know that this is valuable, if you know that this is empowering people, if you know that you personally have been empowered, keep dropping those 777s. So today we're going to remove your hesitations. We're going to remove your reservations, right? That is what we're going to do. This is your power start. So I'm going to dive in, but before I do, I want to um, I, I want to take a moment and let you hear from my visionary, Mr. Rogers. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I'm absolutely excited beyond, uh, you know, at the beginning of the year, <clears throat> we decreed and declared that this was the year of transformation. And as we've matriculated through where we are right now, uh, it is manifesting at the highest dimension. And as you are digesting this information tonight, uh, there's going to be some things that I'm trusting and believing that there's going to be a, a shift in your heart and in your mind. You're going to have the, 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 the unction that any conversation that you've been uh, leery of having, no matter who it is, no matter what a person's past experience has been, you're going to know tonight that you have a fiduciary responsibility to expose people to the information and allow them to make their own decision and you not make the decision for them. And tonight, we're going to put you in a position where you're going to be able to have the power necessary to be able to engage in any conversation. I don't know, I don't care what walk of life they come from, from John, the janitor, to Alexander, the CEO, right? And I want you to think about uh, the word uh, Ephesians 3 and 20 says, God, He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can even ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. And in the Greek, the translation for power is dudamus, which where we derive the word dynamite from. And if you think about dynamite, what is dynamite designed to do? The dynamite is designed to blow stuff up and to blow stuff off of you. So that's the reason why we call it the power start, because you have dunamis power you have dynamite on the inside of your heart and on the inside of your mind 
And the reality is we're going to ignite a fire on the inside of you, right? In spirit, inspire, because it's not what's happening on the outside of you that restricts you. It's really what's going on on the inside. And because the gift that's on the inside of you, we're simply here to stir it up and launch you and leash you into your purpose destiny. And that destiny is for you to have dominion, to dominate. So you're talking about dunamis power designed to dominate, to have total control over every fiber of your being. So as you're digesting this information tonight, the fuse has been lit. Now blow yourself up. Back to you, Ms. Dyer. Maybe if I come off mute, I can respond, right? So let's let's blow up. Let's blow up. I am so excited. And so that's really what we want to talk about tonight, right? That's really where we want to have a shift tonight. So you and I want you all to start compartmentalizing. So let's think about this for just a moment, right? Before tonight's training, right? Because we have a tendency to compartmentalize and, and make this believe that it's something different. Before tonight's training, who had any some sort, who pushed the button tonight for the first time, or maybe even a second time, right? Who had some sort of anxiety about pushing the button? Who had some sort of a knot in their stomach about doing so? You see the opportunity, you see it, but you did not allow it to manifest because you had a reservation, a hesitation, something that was on the inside of you. And then now that we did it, now that we just pushed a button, you see, you feel a sense of relief. You feel a sense of, wow, I can do this. You feel a sense of, and I heard it in the lady's voice, right? I can't remember who was speaking at the time, but she said, oh, I'm in profit, right? So I want you to understand that that same feelings that you had this evening, the same feelings where you say I'm a change agent, but you're, you're halted and, and moving forward. That same energy that you had when you applied for a job, that same energy you had when you, you didn't get that job, that same energy when we were in school and we had to take tests, those same things that we went through, that we go through in life, it's the same feeling that I had when I was leaving for the military. It is just the unknown. That is what it is. But your success lies on the other side. Your success sits on the other side. And so you want to get to a part where we're not stuck in the unknown. We're not stuck in fear. We're not stuck in hes to hesitation and reservations because of what you believe in the stories you create. You can create movies in your mind. And so you want to make sure when you are creating a, a narrative, you're affirming, you're believing, you're pressing forward, you're thinking forward, you're moving forward. And it's always focused on a desired outcome and not creating something in your mind that you ultimately will project onto other people. Because if you project that onto someone else, then that is going to be your reality, right? I saw a post today and I need everybody to go copy it and paste it, a part of what you put on social media. Everybody should be on social media daily. Everybody should be posting. Everybody should be doing videos. Everyone should be on social media daily. This is not the first time we've heard this. We even had a whole hour designated to social media training. But I want you all to understand, what does it say? And it's so powerful because it's so true. Two million families strong, right? Now we started saying that, and I want you to add it to your hashtag. But two million families strong. BYOB attracts people from all walks of life. From six years of age to 86 have learned the skill. Yes, the unemployed, attorneys, single parents, power couples, pastors, teachers, producers, rappers, TV personalities, rocket scientists, hundredaires to millionaires made a BYOB decision, learn the skill. Now, what does that say to you? What does that say to you? Does everyone you know personally fall into that category somewhere? Does everyone that you interact with on a daily basis fall into that category somewhere? So yes or no, this is interactive. We're not done interacting, yes or no. Does everybody fall into that somewhere? So yes, they do. Everybody you're associated with falls into that. And so that means that everyone, remember our product is profit. Why do people get jobs? Why do people seek other opportunities? Why are people happy to allow Facebook to be their financial advisor? Why are people always seeking and searching? Why are people, right? Yes, we're not leaving anybody behind. Why is that happening? 
because people are circuit searching for opportunities. I'm not trying to get you to get some coffee that you can get at the store. What we're doing is teaching you a skill set that's going to shift the lives of people to come. So today we're going to dig inside of you. Today we're going to intern we're we're going to check your internal, right? That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to ask you a question because we have six books that are foundational books. Six books that when you get enrolled, we say that you need to order and read. Six books, and one book in particular, I'm going to ask you, have you read, do you have your first year in network marketing? Your first year in network marketing, do you have that book? Yes or no? Yes, no, maybe so. It's really no maybe so. Only The only maybe so, the only maybe so would be as if you just ordered it. That, like you literally just ordered it because you saw the chat. So yes, no, maybe so. Do we have that book? I got a yes. I have a guy that started reading it last week. I got a yes, yes. Do we have that book? Yes, yes, yes. And if you read it five years ago, guess what? You haven't read it. So I'm challenging all of you all to get that book. Because we, in, in here, the professionals, right? You're unemployed, your attorneys, your single parents. And there's more of you all on the line. So I need all of you all to answer. Tonight is about transparency and about being honest with yourself. So I need all of you all to answer. So single parents, power couples, pastors, teachers, producers, rappers, right? TV personality, rocket scientists, right? Each one of these come with some sort of criteria that you have to meet. Even the unemployed have to go through a process to get that unemployment check, right? So nothing in life comes without some due diligence, without you pressing forward, without you making sure that you put your, you do the work, you do what's required because that unemployed person has to apply for jobs, right? In order to keep that unemployment check going and there's paperwork they have to fill out. So I want you all to understand, right? What you have is for everyone. So let's talk about it because in this book, right? In this book, your first year network marketing, it talks about your warm market. And right now we're talking about 2 million strong. So we wanna make sure that we're empowering our warm market. We wanna make sure that we're pressing forward. We have to empower our, our warm market. So your warm market is your warm, warm market. It's the people that are in your sphere of influence. It's the people that you connect with. It's the people that you're talking to anyway. Right. Whether I talked to you a year ago, or I'm talking to you just um, last week. I'm speaking to you. Now I'm going to ask you, what are you talking about? What are you sharing with them? What are you saying that's really going to put them on the other side? If you love someone, right, if I loved you, if I really care about you and I honor you, if I have something that's life changing, how many times has somebody picked up the phone and said, oh, have you seen the lottery numbers? Can, can we be honest? Can we be transparent? Can we be real? How many times have you gotten a phone call about the lottery? How many times have you gotten a phone call that said, have you checked the lottery numbers? Because look at what it is. Do you want to do a pool, right? Do you want to do a pool on the lottery? Do you this? Do you that? Because they see some sort of opportunity, right? Oh, I wish I could. Am I the only one that got that phone call sometimes? Am I the only one? Because um, I need you in the chat. It's interactive tonight. We're interactive tonight. So how many times have you called somebody about opportunity? You saw a sale, you saw something at, at the store, you saw something that you thought would benefit somebody else. How many times have you picked up the phone and made that phone call? Hey, I was just thinking about you, right? I think this would be good for you. I think, look, I saw this at this store, you know, it's on sale, you better go get one before they run out. How many of you all have experienced that? Am I the only one? Can I get a 555 in the chat? Can I get, I've experienced it. Can I get, I've made the phone call. Can I get, you made the phone, right? Somebody called you, whatever it is, right? So why is it that we want to compartmentalize our opportunity? Why is it, right? You have over-experienced it. Exactly. Thank you. I'm looking for that transparency tonight. Why is it we want to compartmentalize what we have when we know what we have in our hands is changing lives? 
Do you see all the 777s? You all are excited about Club 777. You're excited about 2 million strong. You're excited about the opportunity to cash out. You're excited about the opportunity to put you and your family on the other side. Doesn't everybody deserve to experience that? Don't they? Don't, doesn't everybody deserve that? So it's selfish if we're not talking and sharing because we share everything else. We talk about everything else. We post so many different things on Facebook, so many things on social media, people sharing their food. People, I mean, I don't, I can't eat that. You all the way in Louisiana, why are you sharing the gumbo with me? Like, that's not even right. Let's not do that, right? But people are sharing everything. And we, we, we freeze and we tense up. Why is that? This is why this book is so important. This is why it's important for us to get past, right? And we want to make sure that we empower our warm market, right? We have to. Now, where does that begin? So let's talk about you. Because the first thing that people go through the first thing that we, that while we have reservations or hesitations is you have a lack of conviction. That lack of conviction is your personal belief. You'll drop it in the chat, Club 777. You'll drop it in the chat, but that's a lack of conviction. Because when you convicted, when you really believe, when you believe in something, you make it happen. You tell everybody, like everybody who knows me know my daughter goes to school at River City Science Academy. Everybody who knows me knows that she wants to be a veterinarian. Everybody who knows me knows that I drive 20, 25 minutes to school, which means it's a 25, 30 minute ride back from the school and then have to do it again every day in the evening. This is our life, but it's a conviction. I have a belief. It's on the inside of me, right? How many of you all are, are starting to plan for Black Friday and you're picking up those newspapers and, and you're seeing what's available and what's gonna be on sale and you start planning your routes. Trust, see, I don't do that, I can't do it. See, this is where that PTSD come in. But what I'm sharing with you is the fact that so many people do it. So many people, plan. I've seen the, the papers laid across the table. I've seen, we're going to start here. I'm going to start there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And they get up and they go, right? And they're calling everybody. How many people know that we're not going to win that lottery, but I got to call everybody and say, let's get this ticket. Give me $20. You got $20. Take a picture of your ticket and put it in the group chat, right? I'm, I cannot tell you how many times this happened. And they're always like, Tasha, if you don't get your ticket, you're not getting the money. Because I don't gamble. I don't gamble. I work with winning situations. And this is a winning situation. This is where I'm committed. This is where my conviction is. So I'm going to tell everybody, you run into me, you know what's going on. You know about Be Your Own Bank. You know what's transpiring. So if you have a lack of conviction, see, if you people hold back if they have a lack of conviction. And if you operate in that, what's going to happen is you miss the opportunity. So understand what we're operating in right now. We're operating in the largest financial market in the world. What is the one thing, no matter who you are, let me remind you, the unemployed, what are they looking for, money? The attorneys, single parents, power couples, pastors, teachers, producers, rappers, TV personalities, rocket scientists, hundredaires and millions. What is the one thing we all have in common? What is the one thing that we all have in common. No matter what we do for a living, no matter what we believe in, the one thing we all need is money. Our product is profit. We have to walk in there. So understand that the way this is buzzing, right? The way that this is being heard about, there is somebody that's going to share this information with them. And I can guarantee you, you want it to be you. Because this movement cares about people. This movement is about people. This movement is about empowering people. And what we understand is empowered people empower people. Now, it doesn't matter what your trade account looks like because I made a personal decision that even if it took me six months to learn the skill set, that I was going to do it. How many of you all got a t shirt for the college you went to before you got the degree? Can I, can I get, can, the, 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 can I get some comp? Can I get some feedback? When you went to college, you had a t-shirt for the college you went to, but never had the degree yet. 
How many of you all shared and were proud of your school, your organization, but you hadn't had the, the graduate certificate yet? You didn't have that bachelor's yet. You didn't have that, but you were proud of that. Is it just one person that's, that's, that's proud of it? Okay, I'm like, is my mic on? Because I know, I know, I know. So why is it? Why is it that my trade account needs to look a certain way before I share about the largest financial market in the world, right? So before I, before I talk to somebody about what's actually out there, so why do we do it in every other aspect of our life, but not this one? Or what about a sorority or fraternity, right? It's a community, but it's not going to pay your bills. It's a community where we can go, but, but it's not going to pay your bills. So how many of you all represent and are proud to be in these organizations, but yet, you have something in your hand that's changing lives. You see individuals six years old cashing out and trading. You see individuals 86 years old cashing out and trading, dropping seven, seven, sevens in the chat. So understand, we cannot wait on my personal trade account. So somebody's going to hear about it. And then what do you begin? Remember that movie I told you about? That movie that's in your mind? The movie that we create? Oh, it sounds too good to be true. Oh, it sounds too good to be true. Well, that's because you've been, you haven't been properly educated. That is because the information hasn't been there for you, right? So now that is why education is so important. You see our motto, an educated trader is a profitable trader. The education, the education, the education. It works for some, but it's not gonna work for me. Why is that? Why is that the story? Why is that the narrative that we create for ourselves? You have to affirm that you're a winner. You have to affirm that you walk in excellence. Why do you think we start every call with affirmations? Why do you think we walk in that? Because we're going to affirm where your focus goes, your energy flows. So we're going to walk in that. We're going to change that narrative. What if I mislead my friends? Did you get making them spend twenty dollars on a lottery ticket? That's not misleading. You telling them to go shopping and spend some money. That's not misleading. You having them do all sorts of other things. Y'all going shopping, hanging out on vacations and and things. That's not misleading. When you did you you know, but what you have is an opportunity. Now, yes, they have to commit to themselves. But see, if you're making a decision for them, you are setting them to up. You are that's what we call selfish. We are not misleading anybody by giving them the proper information. We're giving them information. We're giving them skill set. We're giving them knowledge. The same way you wore that college t-shirt. When I left home initially, I left Louisiana and I went to Atlanta and I went to Clark Atlanta University for an entire year. I had the, the keychain, the cup, the t-shirt. I had all of that. But guess what? I never graduated from there. But you still see people that never graduate that say, oh, yeah, I went to Clark. Oh, yeah, I went here. But yeah, and we, and we promote and advertise for it. We promote and advertise. And the reason I went, why? Because somebody said something about it or we're talking about it. You get excited about it. But I went back and I looked at it just wasn't financially feasible for my family at that time. So you're not misleading anybody. I'm not mad at anybody. I made my own choice, my own decision, right? You have to allow people to make their own choices and decisions for their own family. Our responsibility is just to expose, right? And we, I just already said that we, we don't want to call someone until we're making money. But yet we shared other information before we had a degree. So what's the difference? Why is that different? Why do we hesitate and have reservations? So today I'm gonna challenge you to be convicted. Today I'm gonna challenge you to believe, right? So when we think about our compelling why, that burning desire, that commitment to yourself, being coachable and your belief. You notice we said for success, you have to have all five. And everybody always drops in the chat. I have all five, I have all five, I have all five, I have all five. So let's operate in that. You have all five. This is that belief. We have to walk into that. And then remember, this is a team sport. Let me help you because it's not your responsibility to teach anybody how to trade. 
How effective was that training that you just left? How powerful, how impactful, how powerful was the training that we just transitioned from? How many people actually pushed the button for the first time? I saw someone that pushed the button for the first time that hasn't even been enrolled for a week. Mm -hmm. They pushed the button for the first time tonight, downloaded the app, made sure that they got in there and has not even been enrolled an entire week. But now they're beginning to navigate and operate on the other side. So the steps have begun. So this is a team sport. You're not responsible for doing the heavy lifting. Systems work and that's what we have here. The system is here to help you. So I'm gonna ask all of you all right now, I wanna know if you believe in yourself. Are you a change agent? Do you believe? Do you have belief? Are you committed? Drop a 555 in the chat. Drop a 555 in the chat. Drop a 555 in the chat. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm about to move on. But it says, what about the pride we have being the first generation to go to college? There we go. That's it right there. How about being proud of being the first generation to be our own bank? So I'm a change agent. Are you a change agent? So yeah, let's, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Being proud. Are we proud to be the first generation of BYOBers? The first generation of being a change agent, the first generation of a legacy shift, a first generation of operating in wealth. See, because we're supposed to leave a legacy for our children's children. We're supposed to leave a legacy for our children's children, right? A children's children. That means that you have to do something because you have to get something into action. You have to get something into motion because what we're not leaving is debt. What we're not leaving is debt. So what about this lack of self-esteem? You avoid your warm market because of how you feel about yourself. Remember, you don't get out of life what you want, you get out of life who you are. So remember, people, some people don't feel your warm market is gonna respect you. Some people don't feel their warm market is going to really believe them. And trust me, that's the reality sometimes, but that is why you get yourself out of the way. That is why we have a system in, in place that we have. I did a three-way call with my aunt. When Mr. Rogers told her I was the trade whisperer, she laughed. She laughed, but it didn't stop me from exposing her. It didn't stop me because you got to remember, they know you how they know you. This is the same woman that when my mother was sick, used to help pay our bills. This is the same woman they used to make sure as a physician and running a hospital, they used to make sure my mother was placed in clinical trials. This the same woman. So she still sees me as Jackie's daughter. She still sees me as her niece. Remember, they're not laughing at you. They just don't know because they haven't been exposed. So you have to get out of your own way. You have to put them in front of the system and in front of the information, and you have to make sure you turn them over. You have to put them in front of the expert because you're not their expert. And the reason why we have those objections is because we want to do the heavy lifting ourselves. We want to have a conversation, right? Have you considered? Right, exactly. They don't know what you know. Have you considered what it would feel like to put you and your family on the other side of money? Have you considered? And then a, a soft approach, right? It's really your decision. I'm not here to convince anybody, but it's your decision if you get involved or not. It's your decision, but I have a responsibility to let you know, right? You have a responsibility to let you know that what, what I'm involved, I have a responsibility to let you know because if I have to share this information with you, right? So in what we have is for everyone, did you hear it? Made to sponsor an accountant or a CEO, did you hear it? Six to 86, unemployed, attorneys, single parents, power couples, pastors, teachers, producers, rappers, TV personalities, rocket scientists, hundredaires to millionaires. Use the system. Use the system. You want to make sure you use the system. Use the system. That's what you want to make sure that you do, right? So you want to use the system. So, 
You want to expose them. Do you know they were going to be mad at you? Do you know that, that they're going to be upset with you? Do you know that if you do not have a conversation with them, when you start having success, they're going to be mad at you? Because you did not think enough about them to share this information with them. Now, how about that? How does that make you feel? So I need you to affirm. How many of you all have done your affirmations? How many of you all speak them every day? Y'all gotta excuse me. This raggedy cough is not gonna stop us getting through this. How many of you all speak your affirmations each and every single day? How many of you all talk to yourself? How many of you all are your own best friend? How many of you all walk in that, right? That is what I need to make sure that you're doing because you have to tap into your subconscious to where you understand who you are. Because I guarantee you, after even after that laugh, guess what happened? She swiped her card. She got enrolled. She, she listened to me. She respected me because I turned her over to the expert, right? And remember, how somebody gets exposed is how, how somebody gets exposed is how, th that's where their training begins. So remember, personal power is not duplicatable. Empower people, empower people. And we want to make sure that everyone is empowered. And then, and guess what else happened? With all the success she's had, retired and everything else, cashing out, all right, cashing out. So I want you to understand that this is for everybody. This information is for everybody. And then fear of credibility, right? Because we're professional or we think we're professional. We're walking in a, the quote unquote professional status. And we think that being involved in something of this nature, you know, that, that is, is, is going to impact, right? It's going to impact. It's going to impact what we do. But remember, people follow your emotions. Nobody hears what you say, they feel what you say. So remember, you have to understand that you've already began building your network and nobody can take away from you what you've already built. Nobody can take away from you who you already are. You've already been building your business. You've been building your network. You've earned every credential that you have. And I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna give you an example because I was still on active duty, right? And I actually had my battalion commander. He actually, he told me, now, my company did not impact. I went, I was number one officer. You know, um, I, I consistently was rated as the number one officer. Top, top officers out of all officers that we rated. You know, so consistently walked on water on my evaluations, consistently. But he tried to sit me down because he found out. It, now, we have this thing called fraternization. So I could not speak to anybody I was in command, anybody I was over anybody I was responsible for, anybody that I was leading, I could not talk to them about the information. But see, this is where your conviction and your belief comes in. Because I had tasted freedom. See, I knew that there was opportunity. And I want you to understand something. So you have to make a decision because you've had to fight a fight before. You've had to walk. And when you understand that, you see what actually happened is my boss sat me down because he heard from one of the other officers that I was involved in direct sales. And he sat me down to let me know that this does not work. He sat me down to let me know that I did not need to be a part of this organization. He sat me down to tell me that under no circumstances, an officer of my caliber should have anything to do with this industry, right? And that I was going to ruin my military career being involved. And you see, this is where your personal belief in you and what you do, because you see, you, it's always been on, it's, it's been on the flip side as well. But see, sometimes when you're faced with those situations, you tend to forget those things. Sometimes when you're faced with those situations, you tend to forget, because even to become an officer, right? How, how much control do you want to allow someone in your life? I had an officer that I did not want to re-enlist me. Not in anything against him personally, we had no relationship. There was an officer, now I went from enlisted to being an officer. And there was an officer 
that I wanted to re-enlist me because I had a relationship with this person. And I asked her to do my re-enlistment ceremony. So I did my re-enlistment and because I did not ask my officer in charge to do my re-enlistment, he called and had my, cause I re-enlisted for a, a certain assignment. It was, it was an office in Orlando. He called and had my assignment canceled. He also, when I went on ahead and decided, because of that, I decided to do my officer truck packet. And when he did that, what he also did after that is he, he put in, now this is something that nobody had ever heard of. He gave me a letter of disapproval. And all of this was because I did not want him to do my reenlistment. So I had to make a decision that I was gonna fight that because I could see, I had a vision. I knew where I was going and I knew what I wanted. So how, when are we gonna stop allowing someone to have control over our lives? Yes, did I have to go extra steps, the extra mile? Yes, but my packet got approved. Yes, did I walk and become one of the top officers? Absolutely. And had I listened to that battalion commander, I would not be sitting here. Had I listened to that battalion commander, none of you would be here because I would have never been open to have the conversation with the visionary. I would have never been open to have the conversation with him. It would not be a BYOB cash out strategy. We would not be here because someone else put their opinions and their thoughts on my life. And it did not impact me being an officer, right? One bit. Because it did not impact what I was doing because I had a vision. I knew what I wanted and I knew where I was going. So your credibility is based on who you say who you are. Your credibility is based on who you say. And what I do know is I had tasted freedom and now I've tasted even more. Now I live life on my terms. Exactly, you go that extra mile on your terms for you and your family. So I wanna know what's worse. Are you worth it? Are you worth the effort? Are you worth putting you and your family on the other side? Are you, are you worth the value creation on the other side? Are you worth it? Are you worth it? So your credibility is based on who you say that you are. Nobody can define you. Are you worth it? Are you worth it? And then when we come here, embarrassment, embarrassment, because, oh, I did this before. Did you? Did you? So when you, yes, and your loved ones are worth it too. So I want you to take your past involvement and make it an asset and not a liability. Because I'm gonna ask you a question because this holds a lot of people back. But why does it hold me back? Because I've been compartmentalizing. Now that quote, that second bullet, that's out of the book. You read the book, you will see that quote, right? You see, read the book, you're gonna see that, but I'm gonna ask you a question. Have you ever had a bad meal? Yes or no, drop it in the chat. Have you ever had a bad meal? Yes or no? Okay, so I have two. Now, did you eat again? Did you eat again? Okay, so we ate again. Did you ever get, did you, the car that you drive right now, the car that you have right now, is that the same car that you had when you learned how to drive your first car? Is it the first car you ever had, the car that you drive right now? So I had to eat again, but I had a new meal. I got a new car. Right, I got a new car, but it's not the car, but I'm proud of my car. And we even post our new car on Facebook, right? We, we, we take a picture of that new car and we post it on Facebook. But it's not, but, but why do we get a new car? Because we have somewhere to go. We have something to get accomplished. We have something to do. We have things that need to get done. Now, let me ask you another one, ha ha. Have you ever changed jobs? Is the job that you have right now the first job you ever had? Did, did you ever change jobs? So we've changed jobs. So we're on a different job. So if, we, if it's okay to change jobs, if it's okay to elevate employers, if it's okay to move from one position to another, why are you tripping over a company? What, I don't even know how many I'm had, I'm glad you do. Why are you tripping over a company? 
Why are you tripping over this is not your first company? Why are you tripping that you did this before? Why are you tripping that you had an, you, you were in a different organization before? Every, there is absolutely nothing about ourselves and we definitely, whether you only been married one time or not, it's still not your first relationship. There is absolutely nothing in our life that we've done only one time. So why is it not okay that we found something better? Why is it not okay that we're walking in something greater? Why is it not okay that we found what works? We did, I tried that out. You, you ever got a job was like, oh, this ain't it, this not the one, and you moved on. And then everybody's like, oh, I found another job. Praise God, you know, praise God, praise God, praise God, right? But yet, hey, now you a be wild beer. Now you walk in the world. Now you're freeing people. You actually helping people learn how to be their own bank. And I mean, literally, you helping people understand that they can have a skill set that passes from generation to generation. Guess what? Guess what? Let's not let's stop compartmentalizing because that's something to celebrate. That's something to get excited about. That's something to say, I salute each and every last one of you all for making a decision because you transition to a movement that's gonna change some lives. Can we get excited about that? Can I get a seven? We gonna practice on seven, seven, sevens. Can I get a seven, 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 seven in the chat? Can we get excited about that? Can we get excited about that? So it doesn't matter what you've done before. It's time for you to get excited about where you are right now. Now, haha, what else do we do? We qualify people. We qualify people. And this is why I'm consistently telling, I see the seven sevens coming through. This is why we're consistently telling you all, let's stop. You are not a sales agent. You are not, we're not recruiters, right? We expose, we're exposing people to information. I am not a recruiter. I am not a recruiter. I am simply exposing people to information that's going to change their life. See, Jacksonville recruit commander, we recruited. My football team playing right now, so you know I love you all, right? So what does that mean? Because at the end of the day, right, when people get recruited for football, right, people get recruited, right? So when people get recruited, that means that they have options. I want you to understand, people don't have options. Everybody need money. Our product is our pro our product is profit. I said our product is our profit. It is our profit, right? So understand that I'm exposing you to something that's going to change your life. So you are not sales, but what do sales agents do? They qualify their leads. And let me help you with that. Because as a financial advisor, if you were a single parent, I want you to understand how people get qualified and you don't know what's going on. As a financial advisor, if you were single and young, the chances of you keeping that was slim to none. If you made less than $60,000, the odds of you keeping your investments or keeping them where that we set them up at were slim. They were very slim. And so there, I had like a sheet that I had to do on everybody that had so many questions to actually qualify you if I wanted to even do business with you, if it was even feasible for me to do business with you. But I want you to understand that this is for everybody. You don't have to make $60,000 a year. You don't have to walk in that. And see, what happens is we start, oh, they're not going to do it. They're going to do it. This person might not. That person might not. This person might, right? Would you have thought to approach someone like a rocket scientist? Would you have thought to approach them? But yet they're a part of the movement. Would you have thought to approach a, you know, a pastor? But yet they're part of the movement, right? Would you have thought to um, talk to a producer, but yet they're a part of the movement? So I want you all to understand, right, that you do not qualify individuals. You take everybody through the same process. You take everybody through the same process. You expose them to the information and you allow them to make a decision for themselves. Because who you think will, won't. Who you think won't, will. Tell me yes, tell me no, tell me quick, cause I gotta go, right? 
That's it. You're just responsible for exposing people to the information. And then the last one, really, is that conflict of interest. Ha ha, conflict of interest. And when you think about a conflict of interest, this is where we often have, or we often begin to think that this is going to interfere with what I already do. This is going to interfere with what I'm currently doing right now. This is going to interfere. I'm gonna tell you what, those people are gonna be upset with you. You don't have to stand on your platform. If you're a pastor, you don't have to stand in a pulpit. If you are you know, a singer, you don't have to put it in the middle of your song. But what you do is you just take it off the platform. I wanna have a conversation with you. I wanna talk to you offline. And now uh, you take them through the process but you allow them to make the decision. So that's it. That's all you're doing is taking them off the, taking it off the platform. It's no conflict of interest. The same way I couldn't, I'm at work and I couldn't do that because of, I was in command. But yet it's always a workaround. It's always a way to expose somebody. It's always a way you, I just could not stand in front of the formation and do it. I cannot stand in front of the formation and say, hey, I need to know if you're ready to accept the challenge to be your own bank. That, no, no, no. I understand that, right? It's explained in there. But hey, I need to talk to you offline. I want to have a conversation with you on the side. See, what you're doing is you, we, can, we have to stop compartmentalizing. You have to understand who you are. And we need to get conviction about what we came to do and what we're delivering. This is where that trans that this transformation is going to take place. This is all internal. Everything we've talked about this evening, right? Is all internal. Your success is on the other side of this. Your success is literally on the other side of these internal objections that you have. These internal things that you have to work through because your success is there. And the more you go through it, the more people that are going to be exposed, the faster. See, this is relationship marketing. That's it. That means that if it's relationship, you already doing the same thing. We just talked about that. I'm sharing information with people consistently. I'm talking to people. So why am I not talking to them about something I found that's already changing my life? Something I found that I'm committed to. Something I found that I'm going to make it work. Something I found that I'm going to walk it out on purpose. So guess what? I'm talking to everybody. You in my sphere of influence? Guess what? I was at GNC the other day. Guess what? She's going to be on the call in the morning. Guess what? I'm talking to everybody that comes in my path and in my way because every single person deserves an opportunity to become their own bank. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you have to work through. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what you have to make sure that you walk through. You have to have that conviction right? So do we have a compelling why, right? Do we have a compelling why? So yes, let me get a 111 in the chat. I heard you. I see you. I see you. Do you have a compelling why? Let me get a 111. Have you written it out? Ha ha can you see it? Is it something that you need to accomplish? Is it something that has to get on the other side? You see, I'm sharing this information with you, but you on my journey. Whether you accept the challenge or not, you on my journey. You could come with me, but you can never ever, ever say that I did not talk to you about this information. You cannot ever say that I left you behind. You have to make the decision, but I'm coming and are you going? Because I have a vision and I can see it. You got to close your eyes so you can visualize it. And when you open your eyes, you have to walk into it. So you have to have a vision, your compelling why. If it don't move you, close your eyes again and go find it, right? Close them and go find it. You have to see something that you're walking to. And then you have to have a burning desire. Now that burning desire is what's going to push you. It's what's going to get you going. It's what's going to move you through. That is what a burning desire is. That is what a two, two, two. Let me get a two, two, two. A burning desire, no matter what an obstacle you face, no matter what's going on in your personal life, no matter what's transpiring, no matter what's happening, no matter what's going on, no matter what, you see your vision. No matter what, you're going to make it happen. If part of that vision is, is six figures in six months, then 
and you see it. If part of that vision is making sure that you, you and your family learn this skill set and you can make withdrawals anytime you want something, then guess what, ladies and gentlemen, then that's what you have to be able to walk in. That is your burning desire. It's an internal combustion, an internal, what did our visionary say? A boom, 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 boom. That burning desire is going to make that boom, 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 right? That's what's going to happen. And then your commitment. Are you committed? Are you committed to you? See, I know commitment to the military. We have commitments to so many other things. Where are you committed? Where are you committed? What are you personally committed to? So are you committed to you? 333 in the chat, if you're committed to yourself. Because tonight, you're getting committed. Tonight, we're going to say, you know what? I got this. And then number four is being coachable. Ooh, coachable. Coachable. The path is laid. The system is laid out. It's all right here. Are you coachable? Are you coachable? 444 in the chat if you're coachable. 444 in the chat if you're coachable. And then that last one is your belief. Everything we talked about tonight, each one of these internal is your belief. 555, 555, do you believe? Do you believe in you? Do you believe we have your best interest in heart? Do you believe in the movement? If you believe in a movement, just put two million strong. If you believe in a movement, I wanna see two million strong. If you believe in a movement, I wanna see two million strong. If you believe that lives are gonna be changed, I wanna see two million strong. If you believe that you are a change agent, I want to see two million strong. And I'm giving you time to look, look she was like just two M. So, cause I'm just like, I'm gonna give you time to write it out, right? I'm gonna give you time to write it out because I know I was told I need to let you all ch chat. I need to let you all type two million strong. This is the largest economic empowerment movement in the history of mankind. This is a movement. See, things have already happened. When I look at what's transpired over the last three years, when I look at what's happened over the last three years, I can only imagine, you see, multiplication. That's what's happening. It started with one and then it was two and it just kept multiplying and now we're global. So can you imagine, can you even imagine what's gonna happen in the next three years? Can you even imagine what's gonna transpire over the next three years. Come on, can you feel it? Can you see it? Can you see the vision? When we say a university, when we say life change, when we say two million strong, when we say change agents, can you see what's gonna happen? And just think, all of this happened with one person. It started from a vision of one person and then it multiplied to two. And then that multiplication just kept happening. And now we're global. Just imagine with those next three years. You can see it. Good. If you can't see it, close your eyes. Close your eyes and see it again. Close your eyes so you can see it. Because you should see it so strong. That vision should be so hard and so deep. that when you open your eyes, that's all you can see. Set the goal and go get the goal. We're going to set the goal and go get the goal. Because this is how the multiplication happens. Understand that Platinum 600 is the top of the comp plan. Platinum 600. Because you do it, you do it again. You do it, you help somebody else do it. Empowered people empower people. Whenever you enroll someone, your enrollment, whenever you enroll someone, the top of that comp, that, that volume is 195, right? That's what that volume is. So when you look at what I Am Master Academy lays out, it's 12 enrollments to get 1740. But because we empower people, we don't let anybody short, nobody comes in without proper information, proper tools, proper resources. Then what does that mean? 1740 divided by 195 is only nine enrollments. It's nine people. It's nine people that accepted the challenge. It's nine people that said, I want to be a change agent. It's nine people that said, I got this. It's nine people that said, oh, yes, you are not leaving me behind. It's nine people that said, wait for me. I'm coming with you. Now help me do what you just did. That is what that is. It's nine enrollments. Nine. Nine change agents. Nine. Empowered people empower people. 
and then you help them do it and you go do it again. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how two million strong, how multiplication happens. So I just wanna know if you're ready. I just wanna know, remember, BYOB attracts people from all walks of life. Six years to 86 have learned the skill. Yes, the unemployed, the attorneys, single parents, power couples, pastors, teachers, producers, rappers, TV personalities, rocket scientists, hundredaires to millionaires to billionaires, I gotta say billionaires, have made a BYOB decision. Accept the challenge and learn how to be your own bank. So what does that mean? Uh, let me say I salute everybody that's doing a video every single day on social media. We are no longer in the BYOB Witness Protection Program. We need to make sure this week we go hard. We need to make sure this week we go strong. We need to be posting two, three, four times a day, really three times a day. Let me, I'm giving y'all extra. We're giving y'all extra. You need to be talking, whether you're on the charts, whether it's a video, whether you're sharing somebody else's video, you need to be viral. We need to go viral this week. Let's make Be Your Own Bank go viral. Let's make sure 2 million families get financially educated and impacted. Let's make sure that we are sharing this information with the world and we are no longer a part of the BYOB Witness Protection Program because nobody's life gets changed under in protection. We have to make sure that we're exposing the world because everybody deserves the opportunity to cash out. So with that being said, this has been your power start. I definitely want to ask our visionary. Visionary, you have any closing comments? Wow, powerful information. I mean, just an amazing job between the pip master and the trade whisperer. And folks, you know, it's simple. And I really want you to appreciate the continuity on how if you just commit to the system, the system and understanding that you can never lose credibility because you have credibility with yourself. And if you're a person of integrity, then by exposing people to this information, then no one can ever question your integrity because you are an integral person. And because you have integrity, you're making sure that the people you care about the most get the opportunity to be exposed to this information. Now, if you can just unlock that thought process and release it to realize that there's no conflict of interest because we talk about everything to our friend, neighbors, and relatives. We talk about our favorite sports teams. We talk about the things that we eat at dinner. This is a premium because now you have the opportunity to allow your friend, neighbor, and relative to participate and gain their own personal economic equity. And there's a distinct difference between equality and equity, right? Your equity may not necessarily be mine, but because we're looking for our personal equity, then we're willing to ex exude this information. And then we're talking about economic justice because when you have economic power, then some of the things that you desire to change in your place of fellowship, your community, because you're not equally uh, equipped economically, then now you can invoke justice because now you're operating from a righteous standpoint and not an extraction standpoint because no longer are you required to be enslaved to debt, but you shall be the lender and not the borrower. So I release you today to walk in your economic equity, pursue your economic justice, because you have a personal responsibility to leave an inheritance to your children's children. So that's the integrity and the credibility that you forego by not pursuing your level of excellence and operating in excellence. So I just want to share that with you and an amazing call tonight. And as Ms. Dyer said, make it your business to make sure that the people you care about the most get an opportunity to participate and move forward. Their lives are dependent upon you staying the course and embracing the process. Back to you, Ms. Dyer. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Rogers. So ladies and gentlemen, let's go out and change the world. Let's just go out and get it done. So if you with me, if you with me, as we close this call, know that I will be with you all in the morning at 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Excellent call, thank you for pointing us always. Oh, absolutely, I love you all. So, you know, if you're gonna be up, so haha, <laughs> you got me off track. But if I want you guys to unmute your mics as we close this call this evening, 
unmute your mics and close out as you leave this evening and say two million strong. 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go. I love you all. I will see you in the morning. And go get the books. Go get your books. And this will officially conclude this call.